In today's video, you can see the reflection of my camera floating up above because we're working on a dry erase board. That's right, Year of the Crayon is not over. We are going to be creating with, what? Dry erase crayons? What does that mean? Are they still made out of wax? Are they wet? I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Okay, here we go. Let's unbox these. All right. Uh, okay. We've got our cleaning cloth. Squeak, squeak, squeak. All right, let's see what we've got here. Come on out, y'all, come on out. I'm really interested in swatching these because I just, I don't even know what they're going to feel like. What's gonna happen? We're falling apart over here. All right, here we go, starting off with, they are unnamed, I'm gonna call this one yellow. Oh, this is going to be some, oh. Oh, mm, this is gonna be interesting. It feels like I'm using a crayon on a dry erase board. That is very, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. Let's test out this uh, erasing cloth and see what happens. Okay. Oh, this is going to be, okay, well, yeah. It, it seems to be coming off. Let's just see how much we can erase. Can we erase it all? 100%, will it stain? Will it leave a residue? Okay, so I definitely sort of see a little bit of yellowing. Here's our rag. I'm curious if it's going to leave like crayon dust, like a normal crayon does. I, I don't know, I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch all of these, start, starting again with the yellow, and we'll see what everything looks like together. Can we blend? Let's find out. I mean, they're very interesting if, for whatever reason, you really want crayon-ish texture on a whiteboard for some reason, and also the crayon residue, which is, you know, not exactly the most fun part about a crayon. As usual, I would love to do a few tests, like our blend test. Can we create a nice, smooth rainbow gradient? To be honest, it, it does really feel like crayons on a whiteboard, and it's kind of freaking me out because how? Also, why? I still wanna do a couple more tests. Our classic, I guess, overlay test. How do they layer? Let's just put a couple of circles down and see how they layer. I think because there's less texture for the crayons to actually hold onto like the paper, it's just a very smooth surface that sort of gets pushed around. There's definitely not as much, I guess, pure layering and mixing as you would normally see with crayons on paper. Do a little scribble like this, a little scribble like this, and a scribble like this. Scribble. Oh, <gasps> wait, I really like that blurry texture I got. Because like I said, there's no paper for the crayon to hold on to. So when I did that, it made this like blurry wiggly texture and I really like that. I, I would love to incorporate that into a piece. I just don't know how. I'll do some sketching and figure that out. One last thing, I was really curious how these crayons work on paper. Do they just feel like crayons? Oh my God, they do. They're a little more, I think, not wet, but they definitely go down a lot smoother than a normal crayon, I feel like. Look at the difference. That yellow is sort of like a, it's almost like a mustard and it's just so much lighter. Like I said, it's got a lot more tooth on the paper to grab onto and just stay there. Wow, it's so much darker. I might do a few doodles and then create one epic piece. Oh my gosh, let's erase this. <gasps> oh, oh my, okay, oh my God. Okay, <laughs> oh my, hmm. This is, um, this is something. Whoa! <gasps> and we're clean. I would highly recommend a squirt of Windex in a paper towel and it came right off no problem. Because I can't do any sketching because these crayons just sort of go on. There is erasing, but I can't like put a pencil down and erase it. I thought I'd do just a little bit of quick sketching. Let's just get a few ideas. So one thing I was already thinking about was using the white of the whiteboard as trees. I would like to create something spooky, but what? What's something spooky? I like the idea of trying to play around with the fact that you can sort of smudge the crayons. 
Though how I would go about doing that, I'm really not sure. This might just be an experimental situation. Okay, I know I just spent like 20 years coloring that in, but I do want to try sketching one where the guy, the guy? He's just a guy. He's hanging out in the trees. Wait, what kind of legs is he gonna have? Am I gonna give him like centipede legs or like, okay, I'm doing long legs, I guess. Long, skinny, thin, weird legs. Oh my God, wait, he's kind of cute. These little tiny arms, more legs. <laughs> it needs a little work. I think, I don't think it's horrible, but it does need a little work. Maybe you should be holding like, I don't know, someone's head. It might be creepy. We can get a couple more ideas in here. What about tall mountains? I guess we're moving on from the tree, <laughs> but we can still do some sort of winding creature like a dragon. You know, this is a cool concept. I don't know if it's something I want to do right now, but I think this is definitely something that I would like to revisit as a painting in the future. I like it. It's fun. Yeah, this is definitely a painting idea, not a crayon idea. But you know what's fun? I like it. I'll revisit it. Okay, one more chance for a really good idea. Or I'll just have to uh, default to one of our previous ideas. Okay, I, I don't know why. I really want to make the tree one work. Let's try... Let's just try a different a bit approach here. Okay, I do like... Actually, no, these could be birch trees. Maybe the, maybe the front tree isn't a birch tree. You know, not all trees can be birch trees, and that's okay. Yes, this has a lot more depth than the other ones. I think we're getting somewhere. Let's have a lifeless body. Oh my God, I guess we're getting intense, huh? A lifeless body, mysterious liquid under it. And I was gonna make like a creepy horror dog and it ended up like a dinosaur. But you know what, I kind of love him. I wanna put like, a fire over here like the guy had a fire and then I really want to play around with smudging our crayons maybe I can make some sort of smudgy smoky fire over here I I think I like our dinosaur let's go with our dinosaur all right I'm just going to jump into it and do I don't even know if this is gonna work I want to try to do a little bit of light sketching I'm also hoping to approach this piece with a bit more maybe sketchy and textured style. And that way it can also distract from the fact that I can't sketch and I'm trying to plan this out. And hopefully it'll look fine, hopefully. I kind of feel like there's not as much space as the sketch did. So I think I'm gonna have the dinosaur go over this tree instead of behind it. And there's little leggies here. Leggies, I said leggies, wow. Oh, oh, and the fire. I can't forget the fire. I think we're gonna have a lot of fun with the fire. Either that or it's gonna be a disaster. I guess we'll find out. Okay, um, that is a sketch, honestly. If the worst happens, we could always come in here. Oh my God, water. <gasps> All I did was add water to the paper towel and it just, worst case scenario, I erase it. So I'm gonna start in the back and work our way forwards because I feel like I might need to be erasing things as I go. I'm glad these crayons are so thick because you know I would be breaking them if they weren't. I like how each of these sections, the fade in which I do the purple to red is a little bit different. So it doesn't even look <laughs> like they're connected. This gradient is just sort of ripping up the red underneath it. It's not the, the best, but you know, we're out here trying. We've got our sloppy gradient. It is time to add our black trees in the background. However, knowing that water just gets rid of it, I think it would be really easier to, oh my God, oh my God. <gasps> Look at the way it just, whoa. Watercolor artist, super impressed by something being water soluble. Who'd have thunk? I'm gonna go ahead and also clean up our bigger trees that are going to be in the foreground. Oh, that is purple, oh my God. <laughs> and let me just erase that. All right. Black tree time. Is this even an art supply or is this just a whiteboard crayon? I don't know, but we're here making art with it. Now that our black trees are done, I'm gonna go through and clean up our bush line. I'll be honest, this might be the hardest part, <laughs> erasing where I want smooth lines to be. 
It's difficult, especially with these fat sausage fingers. Okay, so that is our, our bushes and our trees cleaned up pretty well. This is, this, this is messy. You know what? I actually might leave the bushes as like a mist. I'm going to attempt, oh my God, watch this. <laughs> watch, watch this and be unimpressed. Okay, moving on to our grass, which I guess I am coloring yellow for some reason. Here we go. Just a bunch, just a bunch of grass. We'll see how this goes. But what if I wanna, you know, put some orange in there? I think maybe I'll go through and add, yeah, I'll go through and add orange afterwards. But for now, we're just gonna focus on filling this whole thing with some yellow grass. All right, we're making progress slowly. This is a bit of a pain, but it looks all right. Okay, my hand hurts, um, but, but we did it. Wow. I wanna go ahead and start adding some shadows here and there. That already looks amazing. What an improvement a little bit of shading can do. Oh no, I was gonna say we're gonna go through with red to darken some areas, but maybe I should use browns. That kind of looks like fire. And we are going to have a fire and I don't want those two elements to get confusing. Wait a second. What if I tried to add like wheat? Would that look good? I wanna add our little birch stripes to our trees, but I thought it might be fun to mix in some purple just, just to like add some color and variety. I think that would be fun. And on top of the purple, I'll just go in a little bit of black. And I'm also going to add line work to these trees. As much as I do want them to be lineless, I just think there's not enough contrast between the yellow and the white. They need it. Oh, also I guess we need line work where the uh, the fog is to separate the tree. Right. And realizing that I think I was gonna make this tree a brown tree, but I feel like that might be a bit of a bummer. However, I don't know. Should I make it a brown tree? Should I make it a birch tree? Oh no, I don't know. I might have to think about this for a second. Let's move on to our other elements and then I'll make the decision. Okay, we've got our fire here. Let's see, let's see how this goes. Because these crayons are so good at <laughs> not layering and just pushing the other crayon. It makes it really easy to layer blades of grass on top of other objects like this. Look at that. It looks like the grass is actually overlapping our log. Pretty nice. Okay, our fire. I'm a little worried about our fire. I was hoping to get some of that smudging effect with it, but we'll, we'll see how this goes. Let's pretend it looks good. Moving on to our orange. <laughs> our logs disappearing into a brown smudge. <laughs> oh God, the logs. RIP the logs. Well, an attempt was made. I mean, it's certainly an interesting aspect of this piece, right, y'all? All right, moving on to our dinosaur. I wanna start off by adding some um, ketchup. Nah, it's blood. We're adding some bloody bits to him. First off, I need to separate this arm from the figure because I think I wanna make both the figure and the dinosaur just black, mysterious blobs. Add some spilled ketchup down here. I think he needs some blood on his face too. Absolutely. I think his eyes are too big. Let's make them smaller and sillier. Oh, I like that better. Okay, there is our dinosaur done. Oh wait, I gotta give him a second arm. I completely forgot to sketch the second arm. Okay, I think I'm actually going to color our tree brown. I'm afraid it'll camouflage into everything, but I kind of like the fact that these two white trees are framing the piece. Oh, I forgot this brown was actually very light and not super dark, so. That works. All right, we've got our brown. Now to add some details like texture in the wood, lines, texture in the wood. I don't know how I feel about this, y'all. I'm gonna add a few more textures into the grass with our black. I feel like, I don't know. I feel like as much as I do like the textures in our grass, it just needs a little something for the rest of the piece. Yeah, I'm liking the addition of these little black wheat plants because that way uh, you can actually see them <laughs> compared to the brown ones. They're kind of cute. Yeah, this black addition is de definitely adding a little bit extra to this piece. This is probably the hardest art supply I've ever used. It was just 
I mean, is it even an art supply? Is it a school supply? Who wants to use crayons instead of dry erase markers? I don't know. Uh, was it interesting and different? Yes. Would I recommend it? Absolutely not. But we did it, y'all. We did it. all so so much for watching this video and a huge thank you to my patrons for their monthly support you guys are the best if you want early access to these videos secret sketches live streams and more check out the link to my patreon in the description below thank you guys all so so much for your support and i'll see you in the next video bye